rear of the car was up and the nose was down. And uh, he had his interior lights and his windshield wipers going. Oh my goodness. And was waving at me because the window was down. Did he have any clue of what was going on? or? You know, he kept saying, I've been on dialysis for 15 years. I don't want to die like this. Mm. And I said, just, you know, help's coming. And by then, the, wa the water was about chest high. Mm. So I was waiting for my sergeant to come. He was en route in the police and the fire department. And then the rear of the car started to go down. And then the water started to come up. And <clears throat> my sergeant was still about 10 minutes away, and nobody else was here yet. So when I got to about here, I decided that I had to go in. I couldn't wait for him any longer. But, uh... Wow. He kept saying... It's so cold in here. And when I got to the car, he he really didn't know how to even get out of the car after the door was opened. Wow. It's like, I don't know how to get out. I said, well, take off your cowboy hat. <laughs> he had a cowboy hat on? Yeah. <laughs> and it was getting caught as he was trying to. I said, take off your cowboy hat. And he goes, I don't know what to do. So I kind of grabbed him by the collar and the coat. And I said, come on now, you're going to have to push yourself out, and I'm going to pull you. So I pulled him out, and he was hanging on by the, uh, the door frame. And he said, I don't know what to do. And I said, you have to let go of the door frame, and you're going to hang on to me, and we're going to walk to the shore. And he put his feet up. <laughs> I go, no, you've got to walk. I can't pull you out of here. And he goes, it's so cold. And I said, yes, I realize, <laughs> I realize that. Um, <clears throat> So he put his feet down, we finally got over here, and by then, uh, one officer was here standing on the on the shore, and then uh, uh, police and fire came right after that. All right. Well, you did a great, a great, uh, great deed here. You, uh, well, I'm sure he's very thankful. I think anybody would have done it. I think he was just lucky that, you know, because we don't have a routine necessarily on on midnights. We we go through the parks and check, you know, make sure everything's secured and stuff. And um, really, by the grace of God, I just happened to go through fairgrounds that night at that time. And because I really don't think he would have gotten out of the car, hmm. he was just like almost that, that out of it, huh? Yeah. Well, that out of it, and just like paralyzed, like he didn't know really what to do. Um, I don't even know the gentleman's name. 